Hello, I hope you're having a good day. So in this tutorial, I will give you the solution of that. If you if your product has an inventory, but it shows that sold out in Shopify, like I have this product three in one portable air conditioner. And as you can see, it has 33,818 in stock for four variants. But when I see on the product page, it is shown as sold out. Just to uh, tell you that this is a CJ dropshipping product and I just drop shipped it. Uh, at, I just imported it from CJ Dropshipping. It has the inventory, but it is showing like something this. So how we can resolve this issue? You, the steps are really simple. Uh, some people would say that you can, you just have to enable fulfill online orders for this product, but this solution doesn't work for CJ Dropshipping or other dropshipping apps. You have to do a simple step. You just have to go to settings. And from there, you have to click on shipping and delivery and from there you have to select general shipping rates so obviously you have uh, set the general shipping rates for one of your locations so i have also set up the shipping rates for my location bzu this is my only location and i have set up the shipping zone one for some for some countries shipping zone two for australia austria and some zones like this so zone three contains canada and U U united states and you already have created the shipping zone but Unfortunately, you haven't created the shipping zone for CJ dropshipping. That's why it is showing as sold out. So what you have to do, you have to, uh, as you can see, not shipping from these locations. I have clicked on shipping and delivery and under, under general profile, you can see not shipping from these locations and you have CJ dropshipping and the shipment colony, which is inactive. So I don't have to activate it. So I will click on add rates and then create new rates or use rates from another location. I don't want to create new rates because uh, I'm already satisfied with the rates I created earlier. So I will use rates from another location and use the same rates as BZU. Yes, done. So so it, has, it is using the same rates as BZU. Now CJ Dropshipping and BZU has the same rates. So I will click on save and let's see if the issue is resolved or not. So let's refresh. And as you can see, uh, there is no solar issue. You can add the product in cart, and that's how you can resolve this issue for CJ dropshipping or the dropshipping apps. Let me know if there is an issue, and we will discuss in the comments. I will be responsive to each comment.